Mm -mm -mm. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Cooking with Jib. As always, I'm your boy, Jib. Since I let this part of our YouTube channel kind of go to sh uh, I'm here to pick it back up with um, new energy and some new recipes. So, you know, it's fall 2020. What a year it's been. I'm assuming with the cold weather, a lot of people are probably going to start trying to stay inside a little bit more so I got some fun uh, some easy some more out there kind of recipes for y'all to try and uh, hopefully I stay on top of editing today we're working on a brined pork chop recipe now unless you're going to like a butcher or you got just a pretty good convenient uh, mart around the corner that sells like thick cut bone in center pork chops you're probably going to get like really thin cut a little bit of a bone on the back end and it's just they're they're crap uh they ain't good for nothing we're going to take those and we're going to actually turn it into something that you and your family will actually eat and enjoy so to begin we got a nice big old empty pot and here i got a spice mixture of like pickling spices eight little things of clove uh, if you want to throw some allspice or anything in there, you can do that. Might be really nice to have allspice, uh, maybe some star anise, or even cinnamon sticks if you want. But we're just going to get this on, on the stove. Now we're going to let these spices sit on the stove for, I don't know, maybe about a minute, two minutes over a uh, high medium heat. You just kind of want them to open up, get a little aromatic. Uh, we definitely don't want to burn them by any means. We're just going to kind of toast them off. <sighs> yeah, that smells good. Mm. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead in with our liquid. There might be a little bit of steam. With this being vinegar, you probably don't want to stand right above it. Next thing we're going to go in is with our salt and pepper. And then our syrup and brown sugar, which I need a spatula. Now a lot of our sugar and sweetness is going to come from the apple cider itself, uh, but it lacks a little bit more of the depth that I'm looking for. So we're going to be adding that maple just for you know a little little seasonal touch, and then definitely the brown sugar because it has some of that molasses still stuck to it. You know what? Realistically, I have this done in steps. You, we we could do this all at once to make it easy. So we're going to add our onion, our garlic, and our orange peel. Going to go right in with the cranberry. Bam, we got our bay leaves. I picked a little bit more sage than I need. Now with fresh sage, I'm not gonna do the whole leaves. I'm gonna kinda just tear this up, break up the leaves, start to release a little bit more of that oil. We got some fresh thyme. I'm gonna kinda just break those up too. And we'll do a little bit more. I want it just a touch, touch more savory. We got our scallions, which is gonna add a nice little subtle flavor. So yet again, just kinda ripping these up. And that's that. We're gonna get this on the stove. Oh, hi there, Cece. Hey there, big girl. Do you wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> All right, you, you just gonna chill with dad? Alrighty, guys, so as far as like a poured prime goes, that's about it. Um, the only thing that we really have left to do besides bringing it up to a boil and just cutting the heat is I got like, I don't know, like a cup and a half worth of like big ice cubes and stuff. Uh, we're gonna add that after it comes to a boil just to really drop that temperature down so that way we can get our pork in the brine faster. The pork brine should last for uh, about a week, week and a half maybe if not used and stored properly. About after the second time of using it, third time maybe of using the brine or maybe about three days after you've used it and you haven't used it again it's gonna look a little milky a little gross toss it it's it's done hot hot <laughs> should have known better i hated these uh I'm, a, I'm just like a towel kind of person a girl bought me these like a year ago two years ago i mean i can't i, I get why you just kind of slip them on like slippers and then Away you go. 
Last thing we gotta do is go ahead and add our ice. You know, it's still gonna take a minute, but at least that ice will help kind of bring that temperature down a little bit. Now, if you have like a bigger fridge or like a secondary fridge like I do, like I'm gonna go pop this in that fridge and try and get it to cool down a little bit sooner, but <sighs> that smells good. Well, that's about it, guys. Uh, the brine, you put some meat in it, you pull the meat out, you cook it. If I got some decent daylight, uh, you know, I'll shoot that up, throw it at the end of this video so you guys can kind of see what the pork looks like. But I mean, it, it's thin pork chops. As always, thanks for watching. Hopefully I get a little bit more of these videos done today and then I turn them out and uh, post them on the YouTube channel. So as always, I'm your boy Jib. Peace.